what is up guys welcome back here to another call of dragons content today we're going to be interviewing the r5 of the nk alliance which is the nova which is from the server 32. now in this server uh the ss1-0011 has a lot of kind of ongoing issue between the blood the dragon and also we have the nk in here which is an independent alliance currently so gabe you're going to give us a little bit of a background of what happened in the end of last season and moving into what kind of transpired to where it is now because there's a lot of kind of rumors going around and a lot of players were kind of like confused that are in the server and as well as outside the server so what's up gabe yeah what's up um so i i need to introduce basically a bit of a background and kind yes. of and let you guys know what happened so um towards the end of last season um nk previously was the h um we did have somewhat a management level disagreement with ds so we decided to make our own alliance like be a be an, on our own basically for the second season and mm -hmm. see how it goes um so uh we did not well according to chesco we were that part of the people that didn't want to be with bd or couldn't agree with bd so um but basically before the season starts um gabe we were, hold on can you repeat that yeah. you kind of stutter your connection kind of went uh yeah. yeah so um the part before the season starts or but part where it was uh chesco said something about you guys so. uh yes so, so so in chesco's videos he referred to a bunch of people from the dragon that doesn't want to be allied allied with vd mm -hmm. i think he was referring to us without saying us directly mm. so yeah so yeah well, basically i think the major major problem if we allied with bd is both ds and or well, the dragon family and bd will be just bored very bored during the season and have nobody to fight with and then the season will be it will be just most people quitting the game instead of people having fun fighting each other okay. because if you split the, i think the problem was last season if they pre-arranged the agreement or the season reward split before the zone three starts therefore kind of resulted in a lot of people just yeah the result is set anyway so my bother you don't try it anymore so you know um, all right that resulted in like kind of the zone three fight wasn't as epic as zone two in, in my opinion okay so now you ended last season you know you had some you know leadership issue as well you, you start you know this new alliance in this in this new season as the nk now how yeah. did everything started on day one and moving to where we are now so like a couple well previously um before a couple weeks before the season two starts both mm -hmm. dragon family and then bd kind of announced their landing zone so plus family wanted to land it in sofrastia and uh, the dragon family landed in Solent. Okay. Well, which leave Dalaran and Burdenland empty at the beginning, at that point. Okay. Um, but a couple of days before, like after the matchmaking was released, um, so Bur a couple of days, basically a couple of days before the season two starts, mm -hmm. Bur the Burl family announced they were also landing Dalaran. Okay, the Blood family. The Blood family, yes. right? Okay. Yes, yes. The Blood family, because uh, I was breaking off, they yeah. probably, but yeah, they also announced they're going to land in Dalaran. So, um, let me change this. One second, that maybe helps a little bit. Um, but they, they, they announced they're going to be in Dalaran, and then I tried to discuss with Dus if it's possible for NK to get land in Dalaran. He said it will be not be possible, so, and advised us to go to the Burning Land. Question. Who did you ask yes. again? Dust. Dust. Like, okay. Uh, dust. Dust. No, no, dust. Like the BDO R5. Okay, BDO R5. Yeah. All right, because I know yeah. they had a lot of changes in R5 since last season, because of, you know, how they were yeah, losing think, as well. I think after they lost, they they changed their R5 to dust, and okay. then pretty much afterwards, people like him a lot, 
Okay. So he's been doing a pretty good job for managing Dwarf family, I would say. That's good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to discuss with him if it's possible depth for NK to landing Dalaran. He advised me not to. And then saying it's... Um... Okay, let me continue. Um, what I was saying, kind of, I asked... Yeah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I was saying. Yeah, yeah, I was saying. I discussed with Dust a little bit. If it's possible for NK to landing down the run, he uh -huh. was like, um, "Well, um, then it's uh, it's BD announced the region. It's not not okay for NK to land in Dalaran." So we mm. still chose Dalaran regardless. Ended up uh, fighting BDO, um, which wow. was fun. <laughs> yeah, and then we got our ass kicked. So we researched to Burning Land, because, uh, well, obviously at that point we cannot fight BDO uh -huh. with everyone of their alliance Family. there. Who uh, had Sofrostia? Still, also BD. Um, BD was fighting 334. So BD, a couple of days before, they announced that they have so many alliances, so they're going to take both Sofrostia and the Dalar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So they wanted to. Wow. Okay. Well, they want. They want. They want two regions. It, 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 it also makes sense, right? Because they have a lot of players, but yeah. at the same time, like you know, it. This is where the friction started. Yeah, yeah. This is where the friction started, basically. And then also, um, I think thirty-four, still, uh, server thirty-four alliances ended up landing in Sofrostia, okay. and uh, thus colliding with BDM. So BDO landed in Dalaran okay. again, and BDM ended up landed in uh, Sofrastia. Okay, so and already friction with 34 also. That's it. That's what we can see. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's friction. Like, this season has been ever-ending fighting until recently. So uh -huh. it's pretty fun for us for uh, until just after the dragon thing. But, uh, yeah. Um, and 34 ended up lost to BDM. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, the, I think majorly because BD was trying to recruit their members at the beginning already. So when they landed, half of their six of their T5 or something just joined mm -hmm. BDM and started get, to fight against um, 34. Oh, like, uh, they flipped. Yes, they flipped. Where's the I loyalty? Think, I, th I think this was because um, the way that Croc Dragon was set up. So these players uh -huh. were last season fighting with the main alliance of 34 and it ah. ended up lost lost and then joined them unwillingly i would say probably yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. guess resentment. So, um, yeah resentment basically and then they want to get their revenge or something so they joined bd right after they landed Makes so sense. yeah and then you know, like they ended up lost um to bdm in so mm -hmm. and then and then they researched also together with us into Burning Land. So Burning Land <laughs> is basically a huge clusterfuck. It's crowded. Yes, yeah, it's very crowded. It's uh, very, very crowded. Uh, to a certain point, you don't see a single node empty on the back. <laughs> oh my like god. Like you cannot farm at all. I, yeah, okay. I, I think I saw that one in the comments. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, basically. Um, but this was not entirely of like... 34, 46, and 48 in Burning Land. It was also because a lot of 46 and 48 T5s, mm -hmm. like their top players, just announced they're going to join join BD at the, when, when they landed. So they, so after, so at that point, after we researched, it was basically NK and then plus some of the, do you know the name GD, which was the 34th May Alliance? I think I saw that well, in the comment sections of my previous yeah. video. Yeah, mm -hmm. so currently they renamed themselves to EP, EP01, but it was 34th May Alliance uh, when they landed. Okay. So it was called G, it was called GD, the glory days, and then they, yeah, they coexist with us in Burning Land. And then we basically extended when gate pass one open. Like, uh, the problem with this Burning Land map is, um, if you look at the map, the only way for you to go out after pass one opens is Kautia. Mm -hmm. And then you are only going to go against BD again, which is kind of sad 
because uh, they got us beaten up previously. So my question yeah. in here is that, okay, when we, when you first started within the season, it's been a cluster already. You had to fight BD, right? So there is yeah. no, with your team, with the Nova, there is no uh, cooperation or allegiance within the blood group, right? No, they, well, we didn't even try to make an agreement. And then when we landed, we just got attacked. Okay, now, so. where does the dragon place in everything that is happening during this time? Because you are still friends with the dragon. You guys are working together, if I'm correct. Yeah, at that point, the dragon was just sitting in Zoland, developing their own territory, basically sitting in Zoland. Although we are friends, I think at that point, they still had that agreement. They had an agreement with blood. Yes, I think so. Now, what was this agreement? Was it to be complete allies until the end? Or is there certain conditions that you know of? Um, I don't know too much about their, their agreement. Oh. I think that agreement at the beginning was um, kind of, you know, um, neutral or neutral, neutral, at least neutral to all the other. It's basically a free for all agreement, I would say. Okay. So, you know, you don't ally with other people, but you don't also mess. So he, he they probably potentially have like a NAP, like a non-aggression pack with everyone until. Uh, it's not not definitely not a non-aggression pack with anyone. I think it's most in my understanding was both both BD and Dragon. What a, I think the, this total agreement was under the circumstance where their understanding is they're gonna face 33 the next season and then they can have fun. Oh, but it didn't happen, uh, so this is why it didn't happen. This is why also uh, BD changed their landing territory from just the frontier to also Dalaran, uh, and also why NK just basically kicked, got kicked, kicked their out. ass to, to kicked out to burning lands. So, you know, okay. So with all this thing that is happening, like how, you know, how did it transpire to where it is now? We saw that the dragon uh, captured the flame dragon and you guys are also in zone three, right? And then I've been yeah. hearing something to where like, oh, um, everybody allied against blood. But what I can see is in the early stage, it seems like blood kind of uh, started the friction with other teams fighting so maybe they will say oh they fight they fought us first uh or who you know or who well, attacked first or, it, it, you know uh, well um uh, from my understanding is bd that attacked us first we couldn't even put our fortress down in dalaran okay so and then um another part is uh it's definitely not everyone else against bd because they, they basically took most of the t5s from 34 46 and 48 wisdom to bd so they joined bd mm. instead of you know um, they just changed the tag but still yeah joined. well they just they didn't even change the tag they just joined quit the alliances join bd yeah, yeah a lot of people a lot of their t5s so you know um, yeah so it's not technically it everyone against them just a lot of them also move towards them now how did they end up i mean if they have a lot of t5 that moved to them why how you know how do you guys are still able to win i think at the end it was a 50 50 against a lot of t5s so half of the top uh, players are into the other nova into Dragons, nova's burning land also there's some uh good fighters within gd so they basically well um, I think around the beginning of uh, Zone 3 fights, mm. there, it was like half-half. And But we do have, I think we do have more top players, if you look at the rankings. Oh yeah, I uh, saw it. <laughs> we have more top, top, top players. Than you guys have elite. a lot more elite. Yeah. Yes. Um, we have more top, top players. Uh, so my question is, is there such thing as betrayal that happened in, during the season? Well, it's hard to say 
you, you, like I think the major problem with the dragon, although they didn't explain themselves well enough, I have to uh -huh. say, but for them, they, well, you know, based on the based on last season, mm -hmm. um, towards the last four month, four weeks, mm -hmm. everyone was just farming, because uh, right after zone three, two days after zone three, the fight was over, and then people was farming for a month. People so towards the end, people already started to feel very very bored mm -hmm. of farming, especially even the whales, and then people that who spend money. If you just farm, then what's not the much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the point? Uh, especially if it, if you look at Call of Dragons, it has like elixirs, mm -hmm. and then where you can just use free healing, and yeah. then fighting wasn't cost you so much. So I think I really love the fighting, like the field fights in this game. Yeah. So I think it did a great great job. Um, but if you just like since healing is free, then you don't use it, and then there's not much to do if you just farm the entire day. There's not too many events. Like towards last season, there was also not Roots of War, so no. Um, so, to, for Cyrus, so not much to do. So, so to people get back were already to the complaining. Question, are they? Yeah. Is there a betrayal during the season with what's happening, or is there really no? Because it's expected that things were supposed to happen this way. You no, know, I think um, when BD started absorb absorbing players from other servers, uh -huh. the dragon was already kind of, yeah, and uh, you absorbed every everyone else. Like, what are we going to do? You know, absorbed, sorry, not absorbed, but absorbed everyone else. Like, what are we going to do? Right. And then like, there's no, it's hard for dragon itself to win against BD. If you look at the Lorcan fight, Okay. Um, basically, Dragon didn't do a... Well, during that fight, Dragon didn't hold on for too well. Um, oh, I see. So how did the and Dragon then also, succeeded? But, but, like, but like, I think another problem with this agreement is um, since BD just avoided every, I think, avoided everything on the right part of the map, mm. so they even though they are in Dalaran, they only go out the left side. I see. So they didn't, they didn't try to go for Gatun Land at all, for Gatun Land at all. So which leaves Dragon to be even more bored. So another month of one month into this um, this map, season two or season mm -hmm. one plus, uh, they didn't even have one fight. So while we were fighting BDO, we were fighting the Blood family, and then they would basically have nothing else to do other than farming. So I see. Wow. Pretty okay. boring. So it's pretty boring for them at that point. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know if it's, tr it's true, but uh, I've heard people saying like the secret, secret, secret uh, plan of BD is to have uh, the dragon family really get really bored and they're just dissolved by the self. Oh, because so they you, want. You, it, that's rumor. Not, not, maybe not true, but that's what I heard sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I had the source yeah. also said something to me that way, but the yeah, source is not from blood. It's, it's from, yeah. 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 Basically, if you look at dragon, they have nothing to do other than farming. If you go to soul, soul land, you can come out only get forgotten land, right? Forgotten yeah. land. And then if BD here uh, in Dalaran avoids forgotten land, saying, no, you know, we give you the region, but um, they avoided that and then just go to Novella. Meanwhile, their members, um, uh, you know, can have some fights here mm -hmm. with NK and GD in Kautia. Um, and then the Dragon family is really bored. So at some point, they want to fight with um, the Blood family in Lorcan. So, okay, so let's, uh, I'm trying to, you know, sequence the timeline in here. So now you guys were fighting blood and uh, the dragons are, you know, bored. Uh, so th the next zone opens up. What happens? How did all the fighting worked when blood first fought against dragons? What was the uh, sentiment of, you know, both parties there in, in, the, in the server? Because, like I said, many people, I think, 
based on what I understand in some of the comments that people left is that they didn't expect for Blood and Dragon to fight. And I think this is what caused the whole shebang of like kind of hot topic within the server, I think. Yeah, I think uh, after a certain point, um, the Dragon was just losing people. So they want to fight. And then uh, if if they don't, from, from my understanding, if they don't fight BD or fight uh, the Blood, there's uh -huh. no, not many people to fight. You know, they can fight us or the GD in Burning Land, but then it would be just the Blood plus the Dragon against like two smaller alliances. It's not which much fun the, either. Yeah. Yeah, which is nothing. So, you know, uh, I think the, the more fun part if it's for a dragon and us together actually uh, like before the zone three starts i think it was a pretty even uh fighting distribution among the like the power or something so to, although blood only had like two pass at the end but uh you know the the power level were pretty balanced i think because uh the blood has like six billion powers yeah, yeah, it is very strong. Now, what I wonder, did any of the blood ever join, you know, in the Nova or into the Dragon or, you know, other servers, whales move into you guys? Because, you know, they were very good at, I would, I, I like the term poach, but they were very good at poaching. But do you guys try to recruit some of the big guys also or no? It's like. Um, so we didn't try to recruit them. Um, so uh, in terms of uh, the GD, they have some like a couple of also Chinese people who were pretty close were mm. friends with me after we landed both in Burning Land. So we well, after we both both are forced into Burning Land, so we quickly become friends and then we fight them. So we sometimes jump back and forth. Okay. There was uh there was one BD uh T five that joined us. I wouldn't name him, but uh like uh, he joined us because he's upset with BD. I didn't try to recruit them. You know. He just joined. He didn't like what yeah. was going on. Yeah, he basically had a fight to his BD, and then he really hates him them with a passion at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of yeah. the game. Uh, yeah, but uh, like, because at a certain point, Blood was trying to just recruit everyone from us. Uh, oh, I even from just... you guys? Even from yeah, Nova? Yeah. He, they, they, they messaged everyone. Ooh, so they even tried to recruit you. And, yes. and I think well, you have Noon as well, right? Yeah. Noon is the biggest yeah, guy. Not me. Well, definitely not me, but, but because they know I'm R5. But uh, uh -huh. like a lot of players, the fighters got the invitation from BD and then just left us. Oh, they left you guys too. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, it was funny because they left us before Zone Three starts. Oh, and now they gotta regret it because they they lost. Well, I don't know if they regret. Maybe Blood is still a good place for them, you know. Uh... But uh, they lost. Uh, they even they, even though they moved to the others. Other side, they lost. So, you know. Okay. We, you know what's the fun part about this is that when they leave you, you're still stuck with blood. You're most likely going to see them again in the next season. <laughs> and and now they can't yeah. just, they can't just join you guys now because then you're not you're like uh, alliance hopper by then. It's... Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think a lot of these players. I think a lot of play, a lot of these players are actually um, not from Thirty Two that joined us. So like uh, smaller pe smaller people that got shoved to Burning Land, like um, uh, fragments uh, from Forty Eight or Forty Six. They have friends in, because their friends joined Blood already. So I think there's a reason for them to move also because their friends is on the other side. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then they eventually recruited them. Um, which is also okay, but like at a certain point, um, after we know t that Blood is trying to recruit everyone from us, mm -hmm. we we send a troll message saying, "Are you tired of Blood? If you want, just come to us. There's no pressure." No, uh... you know. <laughs> yeah, but w was most trolling, and then uh, we did do that <laughs> just to have fun. I think overall, just by looking at this, you guys had two successful seasons so far. I think within comes to leadership management, working together with, you know, the dragon. Uh, I want to say, you know, I'm I'm not trying to, you know, I, you know, I don't know much about what, but just by looking at the end results in here, it seems like 
the Nova and the Dragon have really tight leadership structures, and I think it's a quite good of an alliance, and it sucks for players who, you know, decided to leave. So I think you guys are going to do well again in the next uh, season, though. Well, I hope. I don't know yet at this point. It's like uh, still vague what to do for next season. Because, um, yeah. I think Blood is also still trying to making a push. I think they're not going to be able to. I, I don't know. We'll, I think at this we'll point it's very difficult for them. Once they're pushed out, like in in that in that area, yeah. I, this is the one that I saw on one of my video. Yeah. That I that I recorded, this area. That is a that is a lot of uh, barricades on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, is there anything else that we didn't kind of uh, touch the topic here? Uh. To oh wait, we did. We have some of these um screenshots that I wanted to look yeah, at. Yeah, we Let's look at the first there. one here. All right. The first um, one. You, which one are you showing? It's me? going to be the one by. All right. The toxicity. So it says in here. The just watch. It says just watch out while covering this. Toxicity has reached a stupid level. There days. There was days of trash talks in global chat. Chiskill made a video about BD's view that is highly biased since he's in the middle of it. Um, hope you share some light on it. Blood family treated other servers like trash since before the season started that cost them this season. So this last statement from this player kind of support what you have mentioned. Um, how BD, you know, placement into the uh, structure, uh, in, into the map, which I do understand that, you know, if you have a lot of teams, you have to take more maps, right? Yeah, which yeah. is understandable. Do yeah, you have well, any that, comment to that? No, well, that part is understandable. Like you take more of a region or more like another region, uh -huh. but shoving everyone else to Burning Land is definitely not happy because uh, they only take like top players from the other servers. Uh -huh, Meanwhile, yeah. all the other smaller people are just shoving this Burning Land and they cannot farm. So yeah. as a like medium uh, spender or um, like, basically if you're not the top players in you the other three, yeah, you cannot go there and it kind of sucks for you because you're just stuck here. Uh, it's a, basically a huge shit host with a lot of alliance from different servers. Mm -hmm. And then they have frictions also at the beginning when they landed. Oh yeah, you of know. course. It's not. It's yeah. not an easy. But you have no choice. Yeah. You're stuck with it. You gotta make yes, it work. Uh, yes, yes. I spent quite some effort trying to just make peace with everyone and then try to deal with everything. It was uh, a week of. Uh, I cannot really work on my real job. Of doing this. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. interesting. So let's go and move on to the next comment in here. Um, I'm gonna open it up. It's the second one in here. All right, so it is here. Uh, oh, dragons. Also, well, oh, sorry, go ahead. Also, one more comments to the previous one. Just avoid global chat as much as possible. It's always toxic. Yeah, uh, yeah. that is true. Yeah. yeah. Dragons won Z3 only by being allies with mostly all the servers, 34, 46, 48. All of them tried to push BD family back to zone one, but they couldn't. So they kept fighting BD family for three days in zone three nonstop. Now, it says here, they literally flanked BD family from every side until they got drained due to outnumbered. Dragons never pushed BD alone. They tried before, but they couldn't, so they asked for 7 Alliance. I'm going to make a comment here before you say something. Uh, Dragon is only one entity, right? They don't... Do they have another family alliance? They don't... I don't think um, they have another top family alliance, but they have well, I you think, guys. I think, I think they do. Like, DA oh. is also pretty tough. Let's see. What's the rankings for uh, that one? Um, yeah, currently it's number five. Yeah, I mean, it, there's the Bloods are, what, third? Or no, DA. Oh, okay, third is another Blood. So, they, I mean, that's going to be hard yeah. for a Dragon itself to just fight all the Bloods, though. Yeah, definitely. If you just look at the power ranking, yeah. uh, right before Zone 3 starts, uh, Blood Oath was 6 billion. Where dragon was like 5.1 5. million that's or huge. something. Yeah, that's huge difference. So it, it was definitely hard 
for for a dragon. It's barely possible for dragon to fight them alone. You know, because mm -hmm. just because of the ten billion um, power difference. Yeah. So with this comment, you know, I mean, it is just practical for dragon to seek some help because they I don't think they can handle it alone. Well, it's just well number wise we're, they're we're, not number wise they're not and also we're not gonna let them farm do it do it alone because bd was just fighting us the entire season yeah there's resentment so, in the beginning yeah 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 well there's we're definitely gonna try to win bd just beat them up a little bit so yeah yeah so if maybe if the early stages started a little bit different the result could have been different if they were more nice maybe and and uh, not poached, maybe it could have been different. I think the sentiment would have been a little bit different from majority of the players that are against them. Yeah, I don't know. It could be like uh, if they didn't shove everyone to Burning Land, I think it would be a little different. For yeah, sure. I think so yeah, too. Yeah, because uh, at that point, uh, uh, Burning Land was just basically a bunch of players that got beaten up by PT. Yeah. And then we both are we lost the, the one fight you guys had one beginning. common enemy at that point which is blood. yeah basically yes <laughs> which yeah. is how, how burning land finally worked at the yeah. end because we have the common enemy of blood so yeah we just organize ourselves to try and, to fight blood and who else you're going to ally with of course it's going to be the dragon right yeah yeah well we cannot we there's no possibility that we ally with blood at that point yeah you know because like entire burning land just not don't not a fan of blood so you know yeah that's won't true ally with them. yeah okay so uh. another comment in here it says um not a good look for obvious reasons only content i have seen that dragon is made to look different than what actually happened i'm kind of confused in this one um and then somebody says dragon betrayed blood family i'm in the blood alliance and she's school <laughs> somebody spelled it correctly. I think that's she's school uh, yeah video explain everything in detail mm, now i don't know if you agree with everything that he said in one of the video um and then uh basically i said i was told differently from the dragon's perspective that there's some lies that are spread to disband i kind of agree what you said earlier about having the dragon disbanded because somebody told me about it but i guess i get I, I, uh sorry but um it's still a rumor right and so it's pos it's also possible that he is biased because that is, is his team, right? You kind of yeah. want to support your team, which is understandable on his part of uh, point of view. Because he's not just yeah. going to shit talk his team because that's where he belongs, oh. right? Yeah, of course, of course. Like, and, I think uh, the, the, the major of Chisco's, or Chisco's video, or Chisco's yeah. video was trying to explain what happened from yeah. the blood point of view. Which yeah. they think it's everyone against them. But if you look at the other side, or if you just into ask the players from the burning land they were like hell hell no our um our top t5s joined you and then we just got left like shoved to this small area that no nobody has like uh nodes to farm so yeah you know it's their point of view that's it i think and there's so, the difference you know from different point of view all right yeah. now here's the thing was as you guys are watching this video guys if you guys are part of the players who was shoved in into the burning lands please do make sure to comment in the comment section below we want to know who you guys are uh, how many are you guys so make sure to comment below and what was it like being shoved in the burning lands please tell your experiences in the comment section so gabe i think we've pretty much covered up everything in here between what's happening uh hopefully that you know in my next interview we can potentially reach out to dragon or maybe you can help me reach out to dragon and maybe they can give their perspective uh as you know blood has you know given out their perspective now we finally got the end case family uh perspective in here and then hopefully next we get the dragon's perspective i think this is a definitely a very interesting uh season for you guys a lot of fun a lot of war and um you know sometimes you, with yeah. the one common enemy is what the motivation of playing the game but at the end of the day yeah. it's just a game and you know yeah. even though people take it way too personal that's just how it is yeah yeah well i think uh throughout the season we actually had some good fights with the blood so def mm -hmm. definitely uh, respectable respectable like enemies so pretty nice fights and then although they lost but uh 
still I think they did a pretty good job in the zone three. Yeah, they're they're strong. They're strong still. Yeah, um, yeah, they're pretty strong. Yeah. What do you have to say to the you know kind of closing remark in here to your server, to your allies, to your team member? Um, have fun in the game. I think that's the most important part in the game. So nothing can beat that. If you cannot find fun in the game, then you kind of lose the point of playing the game. In the end, it's still the game. So if you can, although it's a war game, if you cannot find, you know, have fun inside, mm -hmm. you'll suck. Basically, it's my goal that I didn't um, go off this season, that we, the players of NK or, or Nova uh, mm -hmm. can have as much fun as possible. That's so. good. I think All we right. kind of achieved that at least towards yeah. Into, so yeah that's awesome and yeah, i can see there's a uh, toxic on the uh, tamaris chat already <laughs> Let me check. somebody calling noob or each other uh, oh, was that was that from your chat was that from your alliance well, i think thing? i think it was just uh, like alliance team chat that they just oh. called noob to each other so it was okay i was like well, it, it, it happens every day so it's fine uh, friends. that's funny yeah. that's funny i love it so yeah. let me uh get some insight um the the nova alliance where are you guys mostly from and, and kai yeah he was another he was 666 leader was my friend um uh, but um he told me that the nova alliance is mainly chinese players as well that are scattered throughout the world is it true or can we get I more information 60 to 60 or 70 percent are chinese people but uh they are we have like chinese from malaysia we have chinese from the us we have chinese from the eu <laughs> we, but your english speaking uh, alliance um we do both do both so a lot of people knows english and then we do have some people that's not so good at English mm. um, and then we have also like 30% that are not Chinese like, I see that's good just population wise uh, so at the moment I mean I we are open like we're pretty open for anyone to join yeah. basically communication and then if your goal is try to have fun in game you know always welcome to join us all right there you go guys um, yeah I've been friends with Kai for about man it's been four years now I think since I've known the guy so he is in the Nova Alliance in here. So you guys can join them as well. You guys can reach out to Gabe in here to seek um, shelter maybe in the future as you guys uh, find him in the next season. Anyway, Gabe, thank you for, uh, you know, this wonderful insight. You know, it's definitely a pleasure and an honor. Yeah, yeah um, that's pretty fun awesome. to do this. Ex explain our side a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, I think the Chess Goals video was just basically from his point of view. Then, yeah, and then people want to hear it also from other side. Yeah. Okay. Well, Wait. hopefully next season we'll do another one because I'm sure there's going to be drama again. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a guy called drama, not called dragon. But, uh, <laughs> called drama, yeah. I, I honestly hope there's less drama and more just fighting. No, it, it, there's, it's no, what's the people. point? It's not fun. You need to have a little yeah, anger, okay. fire, and it, it yeah. keeps you going. It's the motivation, right? <laughs> yeah, true, true. But yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thanks. Gonna...